currently I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye powder stuff in caramel it's it's getting a dent in it um, I kind of work between the two sides um, I did get some hard pan in this which was really weird and annoying um, but yeah this this stuff lasts forever um, and I'm using this tinted brow gel this is from Australis, obviously an Australian brand. This is in Blonde. It's just a... It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's fine. It is what it is. Um, this I am actually going to get rid of. Um, as you can see, I've used a bugger load of it. This is the Essence Brow Stylist. This, I used this basically all of last year. Um, obviously not this side because it's way too dark, um, but I used a massive amount of this last year and you know it's only a few dollars and um, yeah it looks pretty ratchet at this point so I'm actually going to let that go. I have a 1000 hours brow mascara, this is just the clear eyebrow mascara. Uh, I have an e.l.f. This is a brand new one. This has not been used, touched, whatever. Um, the one side's supposed to be eyelash and one's supposed to be eyebrow, but um, last time I only really used one side. When I get round to using this one, I'm just going to use one side until it looks disgusting, and then I'll use the other side until it looks disgusting. Um, and this is pretty much what I will be going for from now on anyway. Uh, Price-wise, it's even in Australia it works out better. Um, I have whoops, this one by Savvy, which is owned by Designer Brands, um, an Australian brand. Um, this came, I'm pretty sure this came in a bag where, like, if you bought like a bunch of, I probably showed it on my channel. Um, if you bought like X number of dollars of stuff, you got a bag full of like stuff to try out. So again, just a clear brow gel. So I have three clear brow gels. Um, I have this one from Rimmel, the brow this way. Um, this has got argan oil in it. Uh, this is in blonde and it hasn't been opened I bought this on sale at some stage. It's obviously one of those ones that's next in line when I've used up other stuff. Uh, I have whoops, two of this one. This is the Extender Brow from Designer Brands. Um, this is like a fiber type thing. Um, and I've used like I've used a goodly amount. I don't know how I'll be able to see it. Probably used like half of this one almost. Um, I used to use it all the time. But they're like just like little fibers. And they don't fall down or anything. They stay in place once you put them on your eyebrow. Um, it comes in different colors. This one is in light medium. So yeah, I should probably just use it more. I have this LA Colors brow kit, which I'm going to let go because there is no chance that I'm ever going to use all three of these, particularly that one. And I don't need the eyeshadow. It adds eyeshadow. It wasn't. It's just not worth it. I'm just going to get rid of that one. And then I have the Elf one, which, as you can see, I have not used. Oops. I have not used very much of, and I really didn't like it that much. I think I might actually pass this one onto my daughter. Um, 
because she likes doing her eyebrows. So I'm going to give that one to her. I have a NYX eyebrow shaper. This was like the wax pencil thing that they have. I haven't even taken it out of the box. So, yeah. Um, I have eyebrow stencils from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, they came with the kit thing that I bought along with a brush. Um, and then I have This Chella, um, it's like a highlighter eyebrow pencil. It's basically put on your brow bone. Um, it's actually quite good for cleaning up the mistakes that you make because of the colour of it. It's like um, concealer colour. And then also from Chella, I have this Luscious Light Brown eyebrow pencil. These are, it's like, it's like the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. It's like really, really fine. But their idea of light brown and mine is not necessarily the same. I have to use a really light hand with that. But I will use that one. Um, this obviously came in a kit or something. Um, it's actually a brow. It's got wax on one end. It's got brow pencil on the other. It hasn't even been opened. Um, it's in dark. <laughs> Which is not my colour. I could probably use it as an eyeliner though. Um, but I'm going to keep that one because it hasn't even been opened. Um, I have this one from Kmart. Eyebrow pencil in blonde. Apparently. Oh gosh that's hard. It's a really hard pencil. Why has it got glitter in it? It's literally got glitter in it. I'm going to get rid of that one. Nobody needs glitter in their eyebrows. Uh, there's this one, which is from OXX, which is a Kmart brand. Uh, it doesn't have a colour on it. They never do, well, they never used to. Um, it's a much better quality pen. It's like, it's softer than that one. It's very warm, though. Probably make a really good under eye pencil. <laughs> um, I'll probably keep that one though. I mean, I have a redhead, so technically my hair is quite warm. Um, I have this Modoko instant eyebrows thing. So it has a nice spoolie on one end, and it has one of those weird shaped pencils on the other end doesn't have a colour name on it, but it's fine. It's like a universal taupey colour. Hmm. I haven't used that one, clearly. Um, I have one from BYS. Um, this is actually listed as a brow and eye pencil. In brown. Hmm. That's probably not a good idea. It feels really, really nice though. Probably use it more as an eye pencil than a brow pencil, but still, it's in my brow pencil thing. I have this one from Rimmel. This is in dark brown. Again, probably better to use this as. No, I can't even. I wouldn't be able to use it as an eye pencil because it's so stiff. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um. I have an Ofra eyebrow pencil. This is in Universal. Uh, you gotta be real careful because it's quite dark um, if you press too hard. But it's really nice. It feels really nice. So keeping that one. Um, and then I have the Revlon, Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer. This is in light brown and champagne. So on this end, it has. A brow pencil which is basically in universal taupe even though it says light brown that's basically what that color is, is taupe and then on the other end it has <laughs> every time I turn it it just dies back in uh, it's like a highlighter 
but I think it's... Uh, yeah, well, the highlighter's broken, so I'm just going to ditch that um, and try and use up the other end. So that was interesting, because the other end's fine, it's not... Yeah, it's not loose or anything, so... There we go. But yeah, that was quite stiff apart from anything else. And then I have this one here. This came from Dezo. This is an eyebrow pencil and it doesn't have a colour name in English written on it. Um, it says it has an elliptical core, so it has spoolie on one end and it has the pencil on the other one and it's like this shape which is weird hmm oh. yeah I don't think so it's like super I mean, that's probably a good thing for an eyebrow pencil. But, hmm. I haven't had it very long. I'll give it a... I'll give it a go. Maybe next time I declutter it'll be gone as well. Um, and lastly, I have the Monomolo 7 Day Eyebrow Tattoo. This is in BR01. And it has dried up. Well, there you go. That answers that question. <laughs> Yeah, so that one's going as well. So that was my brow collection. I'm decluttering five things, passing on one more. Um, yeah, so I, I reduced what was in there a little bit, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail, uh, makeup collection videos. Uh, hit the little bell if you want to get uh, notified of when I upload new content and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!